Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the Tech360 TV channel and I'm here at the Canon headquarters for a very, very amazing announcement of a new camera that even I have personally been waiting for a long time. Yes, you've guessed it, it's the Canon EOS R3. Firstly, the body is very much like the 1DX series and I actually have a 1DX3 right here which I can compare. So just looking at the size of it, this is a lot smaller and to be exact, it is the body is 400 grams lighter than the 1DX3. So let's just put this down and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about what we have here today. So the design of this camera is very much similar to the 1DX but the only difference I would say is obviously the uh, decrease in weight and the size and also a tilty articulating screen which I think a lot of Canon users have been waiting for a long time. You have the same exact camera battery that you're using on the 1DX3 so for people that have uh, previous owned 1DX3s you can use the same uh, battery here and also you have dual card slot so you have CF Express and also an SD card slot. Other than that I would say the camera can shoot up to 24 megapixels, 4 more megapixels over the 1DX3. So, the body and the camera, what is it made for? It is targeted for professional photographers such as people that like to shoot sports, fast moving objects and stuff like that. Uh, the reason being is because this camera can shoot up to 30 frames per second continuous uh, electronic shutter with the all new body. And for me personally, my favorite part of this camera is being able to shoot portrait just like the 1D series. Enough talking about photo, let's segment into video. This is the first mirrorless camera that's able to shoot C-Log3, which is a color profile from Canon. Other than that, 6K RAW, 12-bit, 4K 100 frames per second, which is something that I think a lot of Canon users have been waiting for quite a while now, apart from the EOS R5. Uh, but I would say one thing that I'm excited to try about is the ability to be able to shoot at C-Log3. So personally, I have not actually shot that before. I've been using C-Log from my 5D4. Uh, haven't got my hands on the R5 yet, which may be coming soon, fingers crossed. Uh, but I'm very excited to definitely get my hands on the EOS R3 and see how they stand up against all the other Canon cameras. My personal thoughts and opinion, what am I really excited about? The video, the ability to be able to control the autofocus with just looking through the EVF. And that's something that's really new that I haven't seen on any other camera yet. And uh, the technology is called the Eye Control Autofocus. So what it basically means is that you can look through the electronic viewfinder and the camera will recognize where you're looking through, where your eyes are moving. So let's just say we want to shoot uh, this beautiful scenery right here where my eyes look, the camera will recognize that point and if I half press it, it will focus immediately. I find that really useful for street photographers, for people that are shooting sports or even uh, cars. And speaking of cars, you know, we all know, okay, now there's animal eye autofocus, there's obviously human eye autofocus, but what's new is the ability to track moving cars and objects. So the camera will recognize that you're shooting a moving car, and I've heard from the Canon guys that if you're shooting people riding motorbikes, the camera will recognize that the person is wearing a helmet and it will put an autofocus point on there, and the tracking is amazing. But with that all being said, these are the technical specifications that have been taught to me and told to me just a few moments ago and I'm very excited to be able to bring this camera out but as of now, that will just be my first impression. So we'll be doing some test shots here and there, some B-rolls. So for the local pricing and availability, at this point, Canon hasn't released any information to us uh, locally. But if you've read the news and you've kept up with the rumors, the camera is priced at 6,000 USD. So if you do the math and do the conversion at our GST, you will roughly get the price. Uh, but as of now, I'm, I can't say anything for sure. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to taking this camera out and seeing if it can meet my specifications of my video and photography needs. But as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you follow us on our social channels and I'll see you guys in the next one.